Hey guys, let's talk about how to add the Tapo camera to the iSpy software. Here on my computer, I have the software running with three cameras. The first one here is the Tapo C200. That's the camera, okay? And then the second one here, the Tapo C216. It's running here as well. I just click here. I see the image here on the right side. And finally here I have the Tapo C100. That's the one here on the top. So basically three TP-Link Tapo cameras working with the iSpy software. So it's pretty easy to set up. Basically what I have to do is just get some information. So here I'm just show on the cell phone. You grab your cell phone and you come here to the Tapo app and you look for your cameras. The first thing that I have to make sure uh, is that you have your cameras working on your cell phone with the Tapo app. Here you have the Tapo C100, for example, C200 and Tapo C216. Let me just play here with the Tapo C200. There we go, that's the camera. And here I can just go to settings and go to advanced settings. Here I have camera account. So I just need to enable the camera account to be able to use with the iSpy software. So when the first time that you come here, it's disabled. You just hit here to enable. And then it's going to pop up a message asking you to create a username and password, which I already have here. So when I click here, I have this information about the username and password that I created, okay? So I just create here Tapo C200 as the username, just to make it easier for me to uh, remember. And then the password, I just use it here one, two, three, four, five, six, as an example, just to test it here, okay? So just create a username and password, then you're good to go. Then come back here in tap on network settings and take a look at the IP that I have here, okay? At first, you're gonna see it like this because this is the IP that the uh, router gave to your camera. So you just tap here to enable a static IP and then you can have an IP that doesn't change, okay? So I have my mine here. Yours will be different, of course. This IP here is similar to the one that you have on your computer. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So basically, your type of cameras in your computer, they must uh, have the same network, okay? They must be on the same network. So the last digit here, the last octet is the one that's going to change. You see here, I have 200 for my camera and it's similar to my computer. If I just come here to my computer, just uh, so you can see how it works, basically here, you see the IP of my computer, which is 10.0.0.162, okay? You can do, you can check this by just coming here to search and typing CMD, okay? Just let you know how you can see your computer. So your computer is IP. So IP config, that's the command that you can type here. And then you're gonna find here your IPv4 address. That's the one for your computer, okay? Similar to the one that I have here for the camera. See, just change it the uh, last octet here. So make sure you have your computer and your cameras in the same network so it's going to work. So it's pretty important. And other than this, you just come here, you take notes like I did here I have for the Tapo C100. I have the IP of the camera that I got from uh, the app, the Tapo app, the username and the password that I created there. So basically you do for every single camera, Tapo C200, Tapo C216, and you're good to go to enter the information here in the software, okay? So one more time, let me just come here again so you see uh, the same process with the second camera. So basically here I have the Tapo C200. Let me just go with the Tapo C100. So just go to your camera. Here on settings, come to advanced settings, create an account. Here, just create an account and a password. Then come back twice, network settings. In here, you just check your IP and enable static IP. That's it, right? And here on my computer, I have the information uh, for every single camera. So it makes easier to work like this, okay? Then let me just come here to this camera, you see that's working fine. And then I can edit this, right? So if I come here to this menu, after the installation, everything else, you're gonna find a menu like this. And here you can add a new device or can edit a device. Okay, let me just edit the device here. You see that shows the three cameras that I have. 
Let me just remove the top OC 200 and confirm so I can edit again, okay? So let's say it's the first time that you have your software up, up and running. Okay, you don't have anything here, just the layout. Then you just come here and start the process, adding a new device. So here it presents to you a display slot. So you can use the display slot or you can skip and use a different one later. You can not uh, change the, the layout here. But I like this one, for example, I just, so I just use this interval slot here. So I click here and give me this menu where I can just add a new device. So I come here to the network camera wizard and here I can select a record on detect and record raw. I can select the options that I want here. Just hit okay. And here I can type the make of the camera. So when you just type here, for example, type, well, it completes to you. Uh, for you, so you can just come here and select the camera topo C200 and give the camera name. So here I gave this name before, that's why it's here yet, okay? Topo C200, uh, no, here is the username, sorry, okay? The username that I have there for uh, your camera, the one that I have just here, right? For the topo C200, the username is topo C200. I created there on uh, using the app, okay? So the camera password, as I told you before, I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six. So just simple like this. So the make, which is topo 200, the username and password that I have there, channel zero, just leave it like this, hit next. And here is going to look for the cameras in the network. You can just refresh here and start scanning and looking for the device that I have available on the network, okay? Basically, if it doesn't find, you can type this, you can tap this here yourself. But basically, it's going to look for the one that I have available there. And you know that the one that you're looking for is the topo with the 200 here, because I know that's the IP address that I'm looking for, okay? Based on the information that I got from the camera. So use this one. Then it's going to present to you some streams that you can use, URL streams. So the first one here is the one with the higher resolution. So stream number one. Later you can even change if you want to, okay? So I'm gonna use the second one here. And then it's connected to the camera and there we go. Now I have the camera live there. Then I can change the name here. Let me just, just stop here, type here, Tapo C200 as the name of the camera. Network camera, I'm good with this one. Location, you can also select the location here if you want to, create group like uh, for TP-Link cameras, and you're good to go. And also select the icon here. Let me just select this one, for example, and device color. You're free here to select any color that you want. And some notes, let's say, for example, Tapo C200 indoor camera. Just anything that you want to put here, you're good to go. So I'll just hit OK here and it's working, okay? So pretty easy. And you can also check here, they'll have some information uh, here and here have the logo. Sometimes like it's overlapping here, the information or uh, what the software is doing on top of the camera. So you can come to your camera if you want to. Let me just come here to my cell phone. In here, come back to this one. This is the Tapo 200, okay? Let me just double check. Now this is the C216, okay? So Tapo C216. You see here that I have this timestamp. Then I can just come here and disable this. I come here to video and display. And here I have on-screen display info. You see time and display timestamp and also logo. I'm just approach here so you see that I can just tap here to disable the display. And then you see back there and also the top logo just right here. I just disable this one and goes away. Okay. So now I just have the information here from the software with the timestamp. It's up to you. You want to use the information from the software, from the camera, you want to show the logo or not, it's up to you to set up here, okay? 
So pretty much is working. It works that way. So now you can have your top or cameras uh, working with the iSpy, and then you can just take a look at the software, how it works, the recordings, the, the microphones, and everything else, right? So this is a basic introduction on how to make it work. And after that, you can just explore and see what's available for you here. There's a lot of stuff here, you see? And if you use the paid version, you can even integrate with different things here, like Android app, iOS app, Home Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Telegram, and I IFTTT, okay? So I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here. It's working for you, it's not working for you. You have some questions and just subscribe to this channel as well and give your thumbs up, okay? I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I see you in the next video.